Want your F125 races to look just like the real thing? With the clean, sleek F1 TV style HUD, you'll feel like you're racing live on Sky Sports. Let me show you how to get it step by step. Download the SimHub app from their website, linked in description and install it on your PC. Then head over to Race Department, now known as Overtake, and download the F1 TV style HUD and the Racer Ray plugin. Once downloaded, extract and unzip these files to make the next steps easier. We first open the Racer Ray folder and install all the fonts that are in the first folder. Then we go to the next folder, find the DLL file and paste it into the root slash install directory of SimHub. Note, if you're on Windows 11, after pasting the file in the folder, you'll have to right click, go to properties and unblock the file in case it is blocked. Next, we move to the F1 TV HUD folder. Copy and paste the user.plugin DLL file into the root directory of SimHub and your plugins are installed. Next, out of all the SimHub dash files that are in this folder, you can select the ones you'd like to install, be it one or be it all. Yes, you'll have to manually click each file and install, shouldn't take too long. Once that's done, we open up SimHub and you should get a pop-up to enable the plugins and add them to the left side menu. Do not panic if there is no pop-up. Simply click on the add slash remove features and search for the two installed plugins and enable them. We head into the F1 TV plugin properties on the left side and here we will input the logos of the sponsors and teams we would like to show on our screens. All logos are provided in the F1 TV folder. So we just click the browse logo and add the Rolex logo for the sponsors. Then in the team section, we click the change directory find the folder and once selected we click the reset team logos and there you have it the major steps are done one final step is setting up the overlay the way we want it so we go to dash studio overlays and here you can see all the available overlays we click on new overlay layout and add and resize the overlays we want on screen head into the f1 game make sure you set up the telemetry options the way it's been provided in the readme files or the overlays won't show up once that's done, all we've got to do is load overlay when driving and there it is. Your F125 game now looks like the F1 TV broadcast.